Hey guys and welcome back for another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare a zipper to install into your crochet projects. So if you're interested in learning this new skill, then let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure out your stitches. So to do that, you're going to get a ruler and you are going to measure out um, depending on how big your stitches are, which let's just say we're going to be using a, a five millimeter hook, then we are going to measure out um, one stitch for every quarter of an inch. So because my zipper is here, I'm going to start measuring right beside it. And I'm going to mark it with a sharpie and I'm going to do it right in the middle of the tape. So I'm just going to mark all the way down. And because of whatever this zipper happens to be made out of for some reason, the Sharpie is bleeding a bit. Um, if you have a lighter marker, then that would be good. Or one of those disappearing markers so that you won't see it. Hopefully the stitches are going to cover it completely, but just in case. So I'm going to be using some of this... What's it called? So the stuff that you make doilies out of. And I'm going to be using a 0.16 uh, millimeter hook. You can um, use a, uh, a needle tool and poke these holes. But whatever this one has to be, happens to be made out of, um, this is small enough that it actually pierces it quite good on its own. So I won't have to worry about pre-drilling. But from here, after you've made these, if you um, had a stiffer zipper, then you would take a needle tool or um, a darning needle and just poke all these holes just so that you can get ready. Sometimes those ones that are like a little bit more plasticky are a lot more harder to penetrate so you want to make sure you have those holes pre-drilled first. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is go through that hole, grab some yarn, and then it on. So we're going to keep the yarn underneath the zipper and I'm going to go through that same hole and then pull up a loop. And then I'm going to pull it a little bit and then go into the next hole and then pull up another loop. And then you're going to do a slip stitch. And that will be your first surface chain. And then make sure you pull a little bit and you go into the next one. Pull up a loop. And then again do a slip stitch and then go into your next one, pull up a loop, and then sing, slip stitch that, and then go into the next one, and then 
slip stitch. So um, don't forget to give yourself a good amount of wiggle room. Make sure you pull those chains out and then make sure they're nice and uniform. Um, if they end up being a little bit too tight then you're going to end up gathering the zipper so you don't want that and um, yeah I'm going to continue on to the end of the row and I will show you what I do when I get to the end. Okay so here is the finished one side so now I am on to this part and I'm going to put a couple stitches here um, I do plan on like I know what this is going to be going into and it is going to be going into something that um, will attach two sides and then there will be something here on both sides so um, I'm going to put a hole here which is right next to the little teeth and this is on the outside of the little stopper so I'm not worried about this getting stuck in the teeth and affecting the uh, mechanics of it and then also because there's a hole here um, what I'm making will have content and I don't want that hole to um, allow the so yeah sorry um, I got cut off so I don't know where I left off um, so my next video should be what I plan on having this zipper installed in so look out for that if you want to watch how it's done So I'm just going to do three stitches along that one side <laughs> and then that should close it up and that will be a little tiny hole and whatever is inside this um, I don't want to give it away, but whatever is inside this little thing that I'm making isn't going to fall out there because um, I know what it is and it's not super tiny. So now I'm just going to go along all the way down this one side again. Um, I'm going to measure them out and I will meet you back when I am fully finished this entire zipper. Okay, so here is the finished one. I'm just going to again do what I did at the bottom and put three stitches along the top. And like I said, this is not going to um, intervene with the mecha mechanism of the zipper because it will be before ah, the zipper starts. Here we go. One more time. And, you know, next time maybe I would start a little bit more in front of it so I'm just gonna go back down and finish it off completely Depending on what you're going to be putting the zipper in, you will figure out, you know, what, where you want stitches to be on your, on your zipper. If you had a 
garment that you are going to be putting a um, like a jacket or a sweater or something like that and you had a zipper that came apart then of course you wouldn't do that. So then I just would fasten off as usual as you would do in any other crochet project and then that's it. So stay tuned for the video where I actually install this zipper and I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head on over to my blog for more information and pictures and um, yeah free patterns and stuff like that so thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <music>